take this $2 fine and turn it into a $40 premium serving tray. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this little tray, sand it, and because the color is what I like for the base, I don't have to paint it, we'll mix up some epoxy with some really beautiful earth tone colors, meld that, let it dry, and come back with a clear flood coat. All right, the surface is prepped. I've lightly sanded it, and I didn't have to paint it with a base paint because I really like this color. The sanding is going to ensure I have good adhesion. Now I'm gonna come over with just a clear epoxy, and all that's gonna do is provide a smooth base so that the rest of my epoxy will easily flow. I just push my product close to the edge. Now, if you're worried about getting product on your edge, you can tape, but I'm gonna let the movement of the product get into my sides. Torch to remove the bubbles. Next, all we're gonna do is start randomly pouring our product out. That was our black ebony luster. This is our brown opaque dye and I've added just a little bit of gold finger glitter into the mix. And then we're gonna come in with our white. You'll take a Bondo spreader and then very lightly meld the colors. You don't wanna over meld. You want those colors just to barely touch. All right, that's really cool. I'm not worried about this space here because I'm gonna allow this to kind of start to self-level a little bit and then very softly tilt. You don't wanna to tilt too fast. Now, if you were doing this on something the size that was too big to lift, it would eventually level out all on its own. All right, so now what we're gonna do, I really like this pattern. So now we're gonna come in with some accents and this is our bronze passion. Just kind of lay those out, very random. This is definitely a step that you can leave out if you didn't want to add any of this accent. And again, I'm gonna tilt. If you want it to meld a little more, just kind of take your stick and meld it. And then what I like to do is come in and hit it with just a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. We'll let that dry. Being that it, it's the amazing quick coat, it should be dry to touch in about two hours. And I could flood it in about four hours. All right, super easy. We sanded, we mixed up amazing quick coat, added some beautiful colors, poured it all in, melded it a little bit, tilted it, Voila, ready to go. All of these products that you see, we actually sell them on our website, guys. Subscribe to our channel, give me a thumbs up, comment, share, do all the things. But most of all, remember, don't be scared, move forward, and be creative.